Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. Hope everybody's well. All right, so it's time for the weekly top and bottom of the deck. I'm doing things a little different this week. If it's received well, I'll do it like this every week. If it's not received well, I'll never do it like this again. But I'm going to try out a new spread. It's going to be in all signs. So we're going through all 12 signs of the zodiac. I know, right? Super, super different. I don't know, some little fire under my ass this week that things needed to change. I needed to get out of my groove. I don't know. All right. So, enough said about that. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon, rising, or Venus placement. Hell, check whatever placement you want. I don't care. Something else might resonate better. Okay. If you find a message in any of the zodiac sign readings and it resonates with you, that message may have been for you. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If you're a cross watcher coming in, thanks for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. If it resonates with you, okay. Just, y'all, yeah, place yourself wherever you see fit, all right? But I want to thank everybody for coming by. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the encouragement. You guys are awesome. If you are new here and you'd like to uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you think we're going to vibe, that'd be super awesome. It all helps the channel, it helps it grow, and it helps this video to be circulated to the people who do need the message. So, before I throw them down, two things. Never make a life-altering decision based on tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And two, if it's not your story on the table, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? It may not be for you. Okay. Starting out with Libra, because it's still Libra season. Short, sweet, quick, to the point. Okay. Libra. The moon. And the ten of swords. You're starting out the week walking into an uncertain future. The path is not lit. Your challenge is the Ten of Swords, something very painful coming to an ending, and the sun shining again. You're you're in a dark place right now, Libra. <sighs> the worst of it's over. Don't let this remain to be your challenge. The worst of it's over. It sucks. I feel you, but... The sun, the star, and the Five of Cups. That's why... Events of the week, the sun, the star, and the five of cups. You're thrown for a loop because everything was fine. Place of healing. It's like a roller coaster this week. This is going to be a roller coaster. I'm going to throw clarifiers on this. Why is it happening? The Empress, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Pentacles. This could be someone you have children with. Could be someone you've been emotionally stuck on for a while. This person could have ghosted you. What do you end in the week with? It's an even better question. Two of Swords Judgment. <laughs> it's retrograde. Time's fluid. Time is fluid. You're starting the week with happiness. You're ending the week with sadness. You're closing out the week making a decision with clarity and making a final judgment call on an issue. Ten of Swords. The end of a painful cycle. Your challenge is letting this come to an end. This is something that's been going round and round for a while. Can I get clarity in this Five of Cups? Clarity in this Five of Cups. Knight of Swords. Mystery, lies, deception, in the dark. You're in the dark as to why someone bailed or bounced. You're going to find out the truth at the end of the week. And you're going to have to process the emotions that go along with it. 
One on the sun, please. One on the sun. Four of Pentacles. Hanging on for dear life. One on the star. One on the star. The Magician. Be careful what you manifest. Be very careful with that. If all you're looking for is the truth of a matter, absolutely. So, if you're talking to God, source, you know, however you refer to the universe, it's, it's fine. I like to call it God. Um, I just want the truth. I just want the truth. You need to be able to handle the truth. Because it, I'm feeling like it's going to be very, very painful. Oh, man. Okay. What's your advice? No reversals. <laughs> no reversals this round either. Using the same deck. Not even bust out of the second deck to clarify. Four of Wands, Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Justice, the Queen of Swords. You know what? I like this. I like this advice. You have to process the heartache that goes along with this. Do not let this bring you down. You are the fucking catch. And if somebody can't see you as the catch that you are, fuck them. Fuck them. Cut them out. Have the honest conversation. Do it. You got to rise up and let your life level back off. And just remember, whatever you send out comes back to you. So if somebody sending out shady shit toward you, you better believe, okay, you better believe it'll come back to them. For a wand, you got doors opening for you, but you have to close out and process this heartbreak first. All right, what do you not see coming? The lovers. This is divine partnership coming for you. It's not this one. So, make the best judgment call possible with as much clarity as you can muster. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. The tower. Tower at the top. Change. This is the universe dropping a tower in your life to make room for whatever, whoever is supposed to be there. And if it's not this person, it's not this person. Okay. Let the universe make room for the good things in your life, Libra. Okay. What's next? Scorpio. Da, 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 da. I kind of like it when Libra goes first because my top four are Sag, Virgo, Scorpio, and Libra. So boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 5th through the 11th universe.
Going into the week with the Queen of Wands energy, your challenge is justice. Mm. Might be a legal matter for some of you. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Could be a fire sign. Five of Swords. Empress. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Justice and the Empress. This could be a legal matter. Um, get clarity here in a second. Coming together in cooperation at the end of the week. A little competition at the beginning of the week. The Queen of Wands is very fiery. She wants what she wants. She doesn't give a shit what anybody else wants. She wants what she wants. She goes after it. Why is this all happening? Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Something was not moving at a fast enough pace for someone else. One of the Can I get one on why it's happening, please? I feel like someone wants a return on their investment. Four of Swords. <laughs> That's super shitty. That is not how you deal with heartbreak. I feel like somebody's broken heart. Oh, wow. That's way too many cards. King of Wands popped up first. I'm going to put them back, though. Just one, please. Can I get one on this Eight of Pentacles? Just one on the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. <laughs> that is not how you deal with heartbreak. I feel like somebody feels like they were um, investing all the work and investing all the time, investing all the effort. Somebody else was out partying, having a good time. This is very interesting, Scorpio. The Five of Swords to me is the avoidable battle. Why is the Five of Swords here? King of Pentacles. Oh, that's some opposing energies right there. This is somebody else who knows what he wants. Wow. Why the Empress? One in the Empress. Just one. King of Cups. There's love here, but there's also like a sense of jaded materialism. Why the Three of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, 
All right. What do you end in the week with? What's the make or break? The sun. Okay. Chariot moving on, moving forward, forging the path. Could be distance, one in the chariot. Make or break is the sun, so it's happiness, togetherness, and the validity of the connection. Why the chariot? I don't know if this is distance or forward movement. The world. This is closing on an old cycle and letting a new one begin. What's your advice? This is like way weird. Scorpio, I don't know what the hell you're dealing with, but... We got the lovers and the hermit. We got the wheel of fortune, the two of pentacles, the six of cups, and the five of pentacles. Hold up a second. These are two people who are destined to be together. I think y'all need to think before you act. This feels extremely materialistic. Someone's putting in all the effort, not getting anything in return. While somebody else is going out partying and having a good time. Somebody's pissed off ultimately. One more for advice. Just give me one. Nine of Cups. Ultimately, make the decision that's going to make, make you the happiest. If you don't want to separate from this person, don't. I feel like you're the one that's not happy. you don't see coming is the nine of pentacles top of the deck six of pentacles wow you need to learn how to be independent of each other but still equal give and take in the relationship if this makes this makes no sense scorpio it, it, it does, but it doesn't. So if this is resonating with anybody, please let me know. Please. Scorpios, I love you guys. Just, just let me know because I don't know what kind of soap opera I just threw it on on my table, but it's going to resonate with somebody, I'm sure. Just think before you act. Okay. Sorry, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Oh, my, oh, my. Sagittarius. I'm going to flip my card so I can keep track of who I'm doing here. Sagittarius. Fire! That was random. I get to say it three times in the reading this time. I don't have to just say it once. I have to be obnoxious for my fire signs. I'm sorry. Sagittarius. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. That's interesting. It's 
get the rest of the cards on before I speak. Okay, hold up. The Devil, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Whoa, okay. Got two aces. Throw one on that Devil. Could be a Capricorn. Could be very binding energy. I feel like either you're returning to something or something is returning to you. Could just be sex-based. I don't know. Could be potentially toxic. Could be both. Your challenge is the Ace of Cups. The other party or yourself may have already started something new or is about to. Hmm. End of the week is the Six of Swords. Moving on with clarity. Huh. 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 Okay, why is this happening? Is everybody going to get a Five of Pentacles today? Seriously. Whole lot of passion, not a lot of emotion. Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Somebody, somebody dipped. There was emotion there. It was not outwardly shown. Hmm. Okay. Can I get one on this devil, please? One on the devil. One on the devil. I asked for one, not not five. The world in the four of pentacles showed itself. One on the devil, please. Something that you can't let go of. Ten of swords. They could want to end a painful cycle, shake the swords out, let the sun shine again, start over. One in the Ace of Pentacles, please. King of Pentacles. This is an offer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Somebody wants to bring stability into your life. They may want to take their time doing it, but they want to bring stability in. Why is the Six of Swords here? Tell me about the Six of Swords. Nine of Cups. Sad you would do that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I, I know that you want to bring stability into my life and you want to make things better, but you kind of left me hanging out in Ten of Swords. Can I get one on the Why It's Happening cluster, please? Just one. Just one. the world this is something you closed out I don't think they did one more Eight of swords, no. 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 This brought them anxiety. This put them all up in their head. Maybe that's why they ghosted, because they were all up in their head. Because they were so full of emotions that they didn't know how to express. Oh, wow. What are you leaving the week with? Page of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The make or break is the equality of the connection. 
What's your advice? Sag. Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Eight Cups, Four of Swords. You want to give this one more go and try again because they are coming in offering stability. If you want to get to the 10, you got to let let and later rest all this past crap. You have to be through the heartbreak of the situation. You have to be willing to let the past go with the two of wands and move toward move toward a future. But you gotta let things go. But with this knight of wands, I feel like this has been very in and out. So y'all need to make a decision whether you're in or out. I got a Knight of Wands and a Five of Pentacles here. I feel like this Ace of Cups for the challenge, maybe do I want to take this cup and start over? Hmm. Three of Wands, which you don't see coming. This was what you waited for. Seven of Swords. Ah! Ah, can I trust this person? They kind of dipped out. Mm. Just make sure they're coming back right, Zaj. Make sure they're coming back right. That's what I got for you, Zaj. Let me know if it resonates. Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn! My coffee cup's almost empty. Okay. to pop out. Who's trying to pop out? Seven of Wands. Somebody could be going through an internal struggle. Okay. Challenge is the Four of Cups. You are in severe contemplation right now. Someone could be trying to offer you love and you're not sure if you want to take it. Challenge being the moon. There's secrets. There's deception. Maybe this person has brought you down a smoky trail before. Maybe you're just in the dark about way too many things. Strength. Hierophant and the Two of Wands. Holding back, commitment, and letting go of the past to move forward. Okay. Why is it happening? Whoop. Sun, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody figured it out. Somebody a light bulb. Ace of Cups. I'll be damned. That's the same cup. Why is strength here? I 
by strength. Three of Cups. Why the Three of Cups? Holding back from reuniting? The world. You're holding back from your union. Holding back from coming together because you've either already put this to an end or this is the end all be all. Maybe you're not sure if you want it to be the end all be all. Why is the Hierophant here? Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles flew out. I feel like I gotta put them back. See if they come back out. One more. Just one. Going inside, finding the light, finding clarity, deciding if you want to move toward this Hierophant, this commitment. You want to take the offer. One on the two, one on the two of wands, emperor. One on the Y cluster. Princess of Wands, King of Wands. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a power struggle. That's why you're not sure if you wanna take the cup. What's the week, end of the week look like? What's the make or break? Queen of Wands and the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, the make or break. The end of the week is the match pair. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, whole lot of wands. Is you coming out with a certain level of control, the Emperor Space Control. But so does the King of Wands. It's gonna be a power struggle. The make or break is whether or not you want to accept an apology or accept somebody's offer and the speed at which this goes down. What's your advice? If you were emotionally annihilated by this person in the past, and I feel like this is somebody coming back. So if this is a, indeed a past person coming in or coming back in and returning, you need to make sure that they return to level the playing field, come back in balanced. So you need to process all those emotions and allow this change to occur, but you need to do it with clarity. You need to do it blindfolds off, no secrets, no bullshit. If this is a new person, do not carry your past baggage from an old relationship into this. You need to stop looking at your spilled cups. But I feel like this is an old person for most of you. All right, well, what do you not see coming? Stability. Six of Cups. This, 
This might be someone from your past coming back unexpectedly, but they're offering stability. Huh. All right. I mean, Cap, take it or leave it. That's what I got. Let me know. Holy Moses. All right. Short pause. Cam back. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. My son's an Aquarius, for those of you who don't know. Aquarians are fun. He's so random at times, though. He really is. Just completely random. I love his energy. I used to think he was just hyper and until I actually started researching spirituality and figuring out why people are the way they are and why they do what they do. And... If I could have picked a zodiac sign for a child, it'd definitely be Aquarius. All right. He's got an Aries moon, though. That gets him into trouble a lot. All right. The star and the emperor. You got to let go of the wheel, Aquarius. Star comes in after a tower's fallen. That's like some major healing and shit. That's putting it on the line and let go on the wheel and trusting source and letting things come back into alignment, letting things flow. The emperor is your challenge. The emperor doesn't like relinquishing control. I feel like you need to let go of the wheel and let shit happen. Okay. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of cups. Why is it happening? The Hanged Man, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, sorry, and the Six of Swords. Something you were stuck on for a while. But you accepted the fate of a situation. You figured out you were good on your own. And you moved forward from it. You healed. You're still in process. That's why these events can play out. I feel like you got an offer coming in. That is definitely going to bring you tons of happiness. That is amazing. I'm not even going to clarify that. I'm not going to clarify any of this. All right. What are we leaving the week with? Temperance. And the Page of Cups. The Make or Break. I feel like the make or break for the week is whether or not you accept this offer. Or you reciprocate it. If leaving the week balanced, though, might be a Sag you're dealing with. Could be, could be another Aquarius. Could be an Aries. Could be a Pisces. Hmm. What's your advice? What's your advice? Oh, I love it. I love this.
if you want forward movement, one, you have to be honest with yourself as to whether you're ready for a new start. You have to be willing. Equal give and take. It's about equal give and take. You have to be willing to give as much as you receive. Why the five of swords? I feel like this is avoidance of self-defeating energy, but I just got to make sure. Judgment. It's the 20. It's the end. You have to be willing to release and let something go. You have to be totally moved on from it. So the battle on the beach might be over physically, but is it over mentally and emotionally is what you have to ask yourself. Are you good? If you are not good, you might want to wait. Okay? Aquarius, that was awesome. Happy for you. You'd be surprised what amazing things can happen when you just let go of the wheel and let things happen. Okay. La. Pisces. My father was a Pisces. He was weird with emotions. He was, it, it was just super weird. Um, he was a worrier. It was, <laughs> it was so weird. Every time I would start crying about something, why are you always crying? So it was okay for him to express emotions, but as for other people, it just made him uncomfortable and he was weird about it. I don't know. That was just my dad. Okay. Two more shuffles for Pisces. Universe, tell me about Pisces. Okay. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. Queen of Wands energy. Dead sexy. I want what I want. I'm going to get what I want. I don't care what anybody else says or does. And the challenge is moving on from something that you didn't get, I feel like. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Chariot. Why is it happening? I feel like some of you may have, I don't even know how to put this politely. You held on to something that you weren't meant to hold on to. I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was there for a good time, not a long time. And you tried to hold on to it a little too tight, a little too long. I don't think you've moved on from those emotions yet. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Fool. Eight of Pentacles.
This is new. That's a new cup. Somebody wants to give you time, attention, and energy. Somebody wants to put time and work into a connection with you. And you're just staring up the cup because you don't know if you want it. Because you're still holding on to three spilled cups. That's a nice sword, sir. The sun. Come rushing in, bringing you happiness, making the sun shine again in your life. King of Wands. Um, Pisces. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm taking that as divine match time. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. Now I got to get one on the cluster. So the king of wands is looking over toward that queen being like, I want it. And this punk can't even show his face. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, Pisces. You never figured out who this guy is because, well, he didn't hang out long enough. Justice. Justice on the cluster. The leveling off the playing field. Once you finally cut off and release and let go and walk away from the one you don't want to let go of, see what comes in? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. You have to be willing to receive and give love again. Why is the chariot here? Why the chariot? Six of Wands. Moving that chariot forward. To victory! Two cards of victory. I mean, Pisces. I mean, I mean, come on. Come on. Seven of Cups, but you have to decide. Maybe you have more than one option. All right. Strength and the Queen of Pentacles. Hear me out. You're into the week in this energy. It's an energy of holding back. Be an energy of overcoming your inner demons and all that good stuff, but the make or break is the Queen of Pentacles energy. She is the only queen that's good on her own. I mean, Queen of Swords, kinda, Queen of Wands, kinda, Queen of Cups, kinda. She has the abundance, she can take care of herself, she don't need the king. So, are you good? 
Because in order to get into a connection with somebody else, you really have to be good on your own. So that's what you got to ask yourself. Have you overcome this guy, girl, whatever? Hmm. Have you overcome the events associated with that? Has balance come back? Are you ready to give and receive? Let's get your advice. Knight of Pentacles, Lovers, Star, Queen of Swords, Emperor, Ace of Swords. Take your time. Move into this with clarity. Be honest with yourself as to whether you have healed or not. Have you healed? As I'm telling you now, if you haven't healed... And you haven't cut off that baggage and you take it into the next one, guess what? You get a rerun. Take your time. It's not a race. It's really not. It's not a race. But only you can make that decision. I'm feeling like this is a divine match, y'all. I'm just throwing that out there. You may have met your match. But if it is your match, and it is destined and meant to be, it's going to hang out. It's not going to be this guy. I mean, it is the King of Wands. I mean, we are talking about very fast-moving, hell or high water, let's do this energy, but just take your time, okay? What you don't see coming is the Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. Holy shit, okay. You're not going to see it coming. Wow. That's stability. It's a text message or a match on Tinder or a, hey, you dropped this or a, I don't know. I'm feeling coffee shop. I'm hearing coffee shop. Something about a coffee shop for some of you. You might be case specific, but. Could be coffee shop, grocery store, standing in line somewhere. I don't know. It's going to start off s simple and cute. That's how what I feel for some of you. All right, Aries. Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm almost afraid, Aries. Just throwing that out there. actually hoping to post this by the end of the day. Um, my internet provider is having a mass outage right now, so. All right. Ten of swords, are you fucking kidding me? Really, Aries? Really? Are we still here? Are you kidding me right now? Really? This is almost spooky, is what it is. It's almost spooky. Okay, you're going into the week with the ten of swords energy. Crossing you is the Ace of Pentacles. The new start. Could be something financial. Could be a job. I don't know. Could be an offer coming in. Could be a planted seed that never grew. I don't know. Okay. All right. What's the events of the week look like? 
Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. Why is it happening? One on the cluster. I'm going to say this, Aries, the only one with the, the, the power to shake out the Ten Swords is you. The only one with the power to make the sun shine again is you. One of the Nine of Pentacles, please. be coming into your own financially. Could be realizing that you're stable on your own. Multiple aspects. Hierophant. This Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This could have something to do with a marriage. Maybe some of you are afraid to get married or afraid of a connection because you've been on your own for so long. Seven of Pentacles. Invested time and energy. Challenge is the Tenth Pentacle. Why is the Three of Swords here? King of Wands, Page of Wands, Three of Swords. One more. I feel like there's an age difference here, like a dramatic age difference. Temperance, Hermit, Four of Swords all popped out. I'm going to put them back because I don't want to take three cards. Could be Sagittarius, could be Virgo. It's that fourth sword. Somebody's got to process heartbreak and come back into balance. Somebody needs to go and find some inner light, Aries. Ten of Cups. I feel like you don't want to break someone's heart because they do bring you so much joy and happiness. But I feel like there's differences here. End of the week, King of Swords. Some of you may be making a logical head over heart decision, not emotion based. One on this King of Swords, please. The devil, you're going to disconnect from something. Death, yeah. You're putting something to an end. Something is changing at the end of the week. And 
I feel like it's happening because something that you have not been able to let go of is finally just going to come to an end. So something new can begin. One more on this cluster. The Emperor. You're taking back control. You're taking back control. All right, what are you ending the week with? Eight of Swords. Two of Wands. Being up all up in your head about making the right decision, the make or break of the week is letting go and moving forward. What's your advice? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, or sorry, Knight of Wands, the Sun, the Lovers, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Cups. Oh my. One more. Seven of Wands. This is definitely going to be an internal struggle. You have to make whatever decision you need to make with clarity, and you have to decide what is most fair and equal, what is going to make you the happiest, the happiest, as to what you move forward with. What you don't see coming is the moon, lies, secrets, deception. Unanswered questions, the Knight of Cups. Could have something to do with a new love offer coming in. Hmm. Weird. Weird, Aries. Okay, well, hope you shake your swords out. It's just super weird. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Taurus. Whoa. I think my internet may have just come back. I don't know. Not according to my phone. I don't know. I keep getting streams from <laughs> YouTube popping up on my Chromebook, but according to my phone, my internet has not come back. My internet just came back. Yeah, I'll be able to post this today. <laughs> Taurus, I love you. I think you brought in the energy of my shit getting fixed. Okay. Thank goodness my son was bugging when he woke up this morning and couldn't watch YouTube. Oh my gosh. Bug in. another Aquarian thing. He's very set in his routine. Very set in his routine. He's a Taurus Venus, by the way. Just throwing that out there. He's going to have fun dating. All right, Taurus, what's up? Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. You have options. Your challenge is what option is going to make you the happiness. Ah, ten of Cups, the happiest. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords. Trying to regain or attain balance, trying to make a decision, trying to make a decision. Two of Pentacles, 
choices, weighing options, what's going to be the most abundant, Ten of Wands, the release of a burden, the Queen of Swords, the honest conversation where something gets cut the hell out of your life. Why is this all happening? Princess of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, the Page of Swords sometimes tells us things that we don't want to hear. Conflict, Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Wands here? Nine of Cups. Okay, too many. Too many. The Nine of Cups, the Wheel, and the Five of Pentacles came out. I'm going to put them back, see what comes back out. How about I flip the deck how it's supposed to be before I shuffle? Okay. Why is the Five of Wands here? Can I get one card for the Five of Wands, please? The Star... healing from the spatting and the fighting and the feuding. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Three of Swords. Finding your time, getting over a heartbreak, finding your options, figuring out which option is going to be the best for you. Why the Two of Pentacles? Princess of Wands. Ooh. Possibly someone trying to lead you and be a little bit suggestive, maybe. I don't know. Y'all talking to somebody? Y'all talking to more than one? Okay. High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. Some of you might be keeping this a secret because you don't want to let go of somebody else or something else. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? I'm not taking three cards. Give me one. Four swords. Releasing the burning, laying it to rest. Getting over the heartbreak. Getting over the heartbreak. Okay. Where's Queen of Swords? One of the Queen of Swords, please. Maybe someone was keeping secrets from you because they didn't want to let you go. And there goes the messenger popping off. Death change. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Allowing something to close out so something new and more beautiful can come. All right. Closing the week out with Taurus. Prince of Swords and the Two of Swords. Honest conversations and decisions made with clarity. What is your advice? Oh, wow, the Tower, the Ace of Wands, the Moon, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Sun. 
Towers fall for a reason. Change occurs for a reason. It is the universe's way of moving things out of your life that you don't need anymore because you have held on to them for too long. This is the universe making shit happen, is what this is. And yeah, the future looks uncertain, and you're probably going to be a little bit anxious about it, but before you go all bogo, know that the happiness that you have been waiting for is coming. That ship is on its way in. Can I get one more on this, please? Prince Cups. That's an offer. It's coming. It's coming. But you need to make a decision. Be honest with yourself. In an honest, honest conversation needs to occur and things need to be cut out of your life. Okay. Or the universe is going to do it for you. Just throwing that out there. Okay. I need to take a short break. I need to get up and move around because my arthritis is just horrible right now. So YouTube will probably place an ad here. If not, I'll see you in about three seconds. Oh my gosh. All of my... I have to clear like 20 things. We'll be right back. All right. We on Gemini. Gemini. Woo. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Wonder if it'll come back out. Somebody might be moving on from something. But if you're moving on from something, you're moving towards something else. King of Wands showed itself to me. Maybe y'all want to do something in a great big hurry. Hmm. No, I want to see what's going to come out. Okay, Gemini. Seven of Wands. <laughs> You're going into the week fighting an internal battle. Your challenge is a page of cups, the giving or receiving of a cup. Okay. Empress, the star, the king of swords. Oh, well. All right, why is it happening? Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, The Hanged Man. I knew confrontation was going to come up. Tell me about this Empress. Tell me about the Empress. She represents all four queens. She's mommy, wifey. She represents growth. Judgment.
Wow, one more. The tower showed itself. I'm putting the other two back. <laughs> okay. Unexpected turn of events. possibly want to resurrect something with either someone you've already been involved with or you already have children with or someone someone you view as like mom or wife material give me one more high priest is someone you're very connected to like on a deep soul level it's like your intuition calls you to this person why is the star here why is the star here I'm not feeling like this tower is like everything is going to shit. I feel like it's a unexpected turn of events. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. What's up with the star? The star does, ironically enough, come in after the tower, though. The star, the healing, the coming together. Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles? Just one. Just one. Ten of Swords. You're ending something... Wow. That is like beautiful right there. That's a wanting to start over. That's a wanting to heal something that was very painful. But you're having an internal struggle about it. You want the sun to shine on this connection again. You want to shake out the swords of the past. That's beautiful. You want to come together. I don't know if this this is someone that like communication just dropped or one or the other of you ghosted each other, but you, you want to put an end to that. You want the sun to shine again on the connection. Tell me about this King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. I like this King of Swords too because he's not in like battle mode. He's not even necessarily in protection mode. His sword is down. It's just it's very it's a very logical matter of fact energy. Not emotional outwardly, but almost like open to it, maybe. Ten of Wands, wanting to release a burden, wanting to get things off his chest. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. The Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Gem. Gem. I like it. It's the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all gonna get something started this week? Something stable? Releasing some of the old baggage and bullshit? I like it! Alright, give me one in the cluster, please. Page of Swords, communication, honest communication. I think you've all finally, it, it might pop off into a little bit of conflict, but, but, give me one on the Five of Wands specifically. One on the Five of Wands specifically. I feel like this is all happening because you've finally both come into your own, independent, and know that you're good without each other. But communication lines have opened back up. 
Okay, that's like three. Knight of Swords came out. I'm going to take it and put the other two back. Six of Cups. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, this is super weird. And very case specific, but, but I'm running with it anyway. It's almost like one or the other of you watched and waited for a conflict to be over with the other party. Why is Hangman here? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. You hung out, you waited. You waited to be able to come in to close out the old BS. It's another 10. Wow. One or the other of you waited for the opportunity. Oh my gosh. This is... Like fucking faded destiny shit, guys. Oh my god. Okay, what are we ending the week with? What are y'all ending the week with? Six of Pentacles and the Fool. Equality. The equal give and take. The make or break is the Fool. Are you willing to jump back into this? Are you willing to start this over? The challenge is the willingness to be able to give or accept a cup. Because you're conflicted. You're still very conflicted. Alright, what's your advice? What's your advice? The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Eight of Cups came back out. Two of Wands and the Five of Cups. One more. Seven of Swords. Okay, Gemini. This talks about learning the lessons from the past. You have to be willing to move forward and let go of the past to walk towards something new. The question is, are, are you stable enough to be able to do that? Have you processed the emotion that went along with this? This Five of Cups. Talk to me about this Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is, speaks of stability. She's good on her own. Is this going to be a connection that you can either continually allow someone to fly in and out of, or you fly in and out of, or is it going to be stable? You have to make that decision. You have to make that discernment. I feel like with this Hierophant, this has a lot of great potential, but Seven of Swords, y'all got to come clean. Y'all got to come clean. Ooh, 
Devil at the bottom. Ten of Pentacles at the top. If you want to achieve happiness and abundance, you have to disconnect from the crap from the past. Okay. Okay. Gem, that's what I got for you. Whew. Whew. It's going to be close to two hours. Wow. Lee, cancer. Cancer. Losing my spot. This is why I just got to do Aries to Pisces because I keep losing my spot. Cancer. Page of Cups, Four of Wands. You want to either hand someone a cup or you're waiting for someone to hand you a cup. The challenge is, is that door open? Okay. Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Wow, could be an earth sign you are dealing with. That is a lot of Pentacles. I'm feeling earth, could be fire, could be another water sign. So, why is it happening? Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. Hmm. One in the cluster. I see options. I see moving on. One on the cluster. Ace of Swords. Why the Page of Wands? Eight of Wands, yeah, this was quick. This was quick, this was brief. Lots of communication all at once, and then I kind of feel like maybe you had other options, maybe they had other options. Somebody moved on, started off something new, something a little more honest and truthful and clear. Sometimes those wands just come in all at once and signals get mixed. I'm feeling mixed signals. Okay. So, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. What's up with the Six of Pentacles for the events for this week? Nine of Wands, one last go. Maybe things will be more equal this time around. Okay. Why the Three of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. Let's take our time. Oh, wow. Either you want something solid with the foundation, or they want something solid with the foundation. Y'all want to take your time. Why the Two of Pentacles toward the end of the week? Why the Two of Pentacles? Why the Two of Pentacles? Knight of Swords. Mm. Mm. That's not the Knight of Pentacles, that's the Page of Pentacles. Still, it's a slow, small, steady offer. Is the door open? Will one last go around be equal? 
can we take our time with this? Why the Knight of Swords? The lovers. It's a choice. Really? I feel like somebody is coming back at you with a cup. One off or you something stable. Somebody wants one more go around. You're going to end up with a choice. To make by the end of the week. Knight of Swords ain't so stable, though. Queen of Swords, somebody gotta get cut out. Okay. I feel like this is something you moved on from because it did happen so quickly. And it was just very brief and abrupt. And you moved on to something more honest and more clear. Swords. Swords. What's the end of your week look like? Six of Swords. Oh. Emperor. The make or break is the Emperor. Your control over the situation and what you want to happen. Your fate, your destiny. You having your hands on the damn wheel. Okay. Choosing which one of these you're going to move on from. Your advice. The fool. The four of cups. The two, three of wands. The queen of wands. Five of wands. And the wheel. One more. Justice. Okay. You got to decide what you want ultimately. It's your path and you're the one who's got to walk it. So, if there's any question in your mind as to what's in a cup, uh, what on the three of wands? Ace of Pentacles. How, how how plentiful is the cup? If this is the same person that's down here that you already moved on from, exactly what's in that cup? How abundant is it going to be? Is this just going to pop off into more wands and conflict again? You're the one who has to make that decision. One on the wheel. Just one, just one, just one, just one, King of Swords. <sighs> That's super weird. Sword, sword, sword. Could be an air sign you're dealing with. Y'all could, one or the both of you could have air in your chart. This feels like, like fate. But, you know, trying not to be case specific. You need to make your judgment with discernment and honesty. And I'm not going to say with as little emotion as possible, with as little negative emotion as possible. I understand there might be some bad blood down here. 
<laughs> but you need to make a decision with discernment. Hanging man, four of swords. You need to lay to rest what you've been hung up on for a minute. You need to finish processing the heartbreak of a situation before you jump into something new. Because the last thing anybody wants is to carry path baggage along. Okay. All right. That's what I got for you, Cancer. That's what I got for you. I almost called you Gemini. Oh my gosh, now that my internet's back, it's like the phone's going off, the Chromebook's like popping up with notifications. Oh my goodness, I only was up without internet for like 12 hours. What the hell happened? Okay, Leo. Universe, tell me about Leo. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. Ten of Cups. Seven, you're making a decision about a cup? Knight of Wands in the Tower. That's an energy of action. I feel like a tower is going to hold you up this week, Leo. Some kind of game changer this week. Okay, what's going on? Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. And the Hermit. Why is it happening? Six of Pentacles. Death. And the Two of Pentacles. Why is everybody making decisions? <laughs> We'll figure out what that is in a second. Tell me about this page of cups. Tell me about this page of cups. Wheel of Fortune. The card of fate and destiny. One more. I feel like for some of you, the universe is going to bring something in for you this week that's going to change everything. Okay. The moon. <laughs> Could be a Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Virgo. I got Scorpio twice, so that means anything to anybody. Oh my goodness. They're going to throw you for a loop. It might have something to do with the new moon energy coming up on the 6th. I don't know. Might be, might be a surprise message from someone you haven't heard from in a while. But, but tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Hanged man and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
something you've been pouring energy into. One more. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, something you've been pouring your energy into almost obsessively, like you've been stuck there. Finally starting to pay off. Finally starting to see slow payoff. Okay. Okay. We'll figure out how that ties in in a second. You're going into hermit mode at the end of the week. What are you trying to find the inner light about? What are you going to be resting and meditating upon? What are you going into chill mode about? I feel like this is happening at the same time. Something you've been investing energy in is finally starting to pay off and then this surprise comes in. Or vice versa. The events don't always lay out on the table in the order in which they occur, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Chariot. Um, you're going to be meditating on what direction you want to go in. Something is changing and metamorphosizing. Possibly something that you thought was dead may be reborn. Maybe one on the cluster. Ace of Swords made anew. Made anew. Sudden burst of clarity. New cycle. Ah. Something you were once in the dark about finally being made clear. That's super interesting. Okay, so what are you ending the week with? Strength. Two of Swords. The make or break is that decision made with clarity. The taking off of the blindfold. What's your advice? Leo, what the hell just happened on my table? Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, Judgment. One more. What? The French toast, yo. Okay, I'll take two. You don't always get what you manifest right away. Sometimes you gotta wait for it. And sometimes you have to wait for the universe to line things up. And with this, you got to be careful what you manifest. And when. Because sometimes... We walk away from something. We close something out. But you did all this manifestation like you really wanted it. And then... All of a sudden it pops back up unexpectedly. So, for future reference, you got to be careful with that. In regards to this, don't get so anxious. Don't let this keep you up at night. New, new wonderful good things are coming to you. The sun is going to shine again. You've shaken out your swords. Be allowed for a process to occur. The universe is moving things in your life. 
But ultimately, you have to make the final judgment call. As to what direction you want to go in. All right, Leo? To the bottom. But we didn't see it coming. Three of Wands and Justice. Well, Leo, sometimes if you wait long enough, things level out on their own. Just throwing that out there. I did not see that coming. Okay. Surprise! I love that. I love the tower card. It's like my favorite card. Okay. Virgo. Is there anything I'm done? Yeah! Virgo! close it out with you today. Okay. Talk to me about Virgo universe. What's Virgo got coming in this week? I think next week I might not clarify. I'm just going to read the messages as they are. I like clarifying them. Specifically when I have time to do it. My phone is blowing up right now. Oh my God. It's like lit up. Mm. Half of my screen is notifications right now. You guys can't see that, but. <laughs> All right, tell me about Virgo Universe. Tell me about Virgo. Break your retrograde. Your electronic shit's gonna break. Your internet's gonna go down and people are gonna come back to haunt you. Okay, what do we got, Virgo? Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Why? Virgo, you would flip out when things are going too good, wouldn't you? You would. You're going into the week with things being level and steady and stable, and the challenge here is it has you anxious as fuck. Okay, why? Six of Swords, Princess of Swords, Five of Wands. Don't do this to yourselves, please. Why is it happening? King of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. Virgo. Why? All right. Tell me about the Six of Swords. card of crossing choppy waters which tells me that in the hermit here's your card Virgo maybe things are finally leveling off you're crossing some choppy waters going into like a state of meditation like really going within trying to figure out okay how can I fix this how can I keep things level Things are already level, so it's like maintenance. One more. Hmm. Going within, trying to process something. Seven is. That's what. Something is not up on the up and up. Possibly in the past this person has deceived you and that's why there's choppy waters. Possibly, possibly, possibly. There's the Princess of Swords here. Six of Cups. King of Wands.
and the star. Confrontation. This feels like emotional puppet strings. Sometimes the Page of Swords tells us things we don't want to hear. One more. Emperor. Someone could be extremely controlling. Why the star? The lover. Oh no. Lies, 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 choices and lies, choices and lies. Yup. Mm. I almost feel like some of you are putting a third party into a situation that isn't there. This feels like self-sabotaging conflict. Why is the five of wands here? Two of Swords. Confrontation, removing a blindfold, finding clarity, making a decision with clarity and clear-headedness. Six of Wands and the Devil. Disconnecting from the toxic crap of the past, finding your victory. You get victory at the end of the week, but you got to get through the battle. You got to get through the, through the conflict. I don't think this conflict was necessary. I really don't. I think you're in the headspace of things being a little bit too good. Virgo, why the hell would you do this? There's a very powerful connection here with the lovers and the star. There really is. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if you're the one doing it, but somebody is. This may be someone else's self-sabotaging conflict and unnecessary shit. King of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. By the King of Swords. This is, anxi this is anxiety and sadness from the past. This is past hurts. Queen of Pentacles. If you're dealing with someone the second time around, this is not your self-sabotaging energy. It's theirs. If you're dealing with somebody new, this is yours. I feel like somebody, you had to cut somebody out in the past. You didn't want to and it was painful and it was hurt. It was anxiety. But you came into your own with this Queen of Pentacles. You rose up above it. You realized you were good on your own. And now things are going a little bit too good and it's automatically a, oh my God, why are things going so well? What the hell are you doing? We're on the cluster. I 
I don't normally take all three, but I'm gonna. There's the King of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You're afraid of it. You're afraid of it. That's why you're anxious. This is a match. This is a match. But you've been hurt before, and that's why you're anxious. You're scared to death. To you're finally okay. You're finally okay, and things are going well, and you're scared of that tenth cup because you've been hurt before. Don't do that to yourself. What are you doing? Virgo, what are you doing? You got me throwing cards. I'm getting your advice. No, I'm going to close your week out, and then I'm going to get your advice. Really? Oh, my God. I have to answer my phone. Wow, both phones going off at once. Sometimes I feel like the only person left on the planet that actually has a landline phone. Okay, so coming out of the week with the Princess of Pentacles energy, make or break is the Two of Cups. What are you going to do with this? Taking it slow. Taking it slow. What's your advice? What do you do with this connection? Two of Wands, the World, Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Take them, just because I pulled them by accident. Ten of Wands. Guys got me all frazzled. Why is there so many wands? Those are bonus cards. This tells me uh, if you need to slow down to get a little bit of clarity, do so. Do so. Absolutely. Don't turn this into an internal struggle because you're still hung up on events from the past. You need to drop those wands. You need to release that burden because that burden is what is going to keep you from a beautiful connection. If you need to slow down and make this person wait a little bit, by all means do so. And be open and honest about that because that's okay if you're not ready. Okay? But you need to close out your old shit and move on from it and leave it behind you before you move into this because it has you extremely anxious. Don't allow self-sabotaging energy to ruin a good thing for you. Please don't. Okay? The sun and justice. Cut the old shit out of your life to regain your balance and allow happiness to come in. This is a matched pair. This may well be your tenth cup of completion. But you gotta make sure you're good. Are you good? Are you? Please take that tenth cup. But don't be afraid of it either. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks for coming down. Sorry it took so damn long. Sorry for all the interruptions. We'll see how this goes. I might do it again next week. I don't know. We'll see. Working with the new spreads and stuff. Wow, two hours exactly. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Catch you next week.